Hey guys, today we're gonna boil anicone, which is in testers from the beef, and I've started boiling it. That is beautiful, it has a lot of seasoning inside of it. Nice, because we're cooking anicones and fish. That is croaker fish, ready wash clean and seasoning it was seasoning with a uh, adobo maggi nor and salt ready wash making it to dry before i put it in the oven and after that this is all the ingredient that is going to go into the soup before it's cooked we have onions tin tomatoes red pepper habanero dry onions, uh, this is adobo, salt, and don't forget no cube to taste so good. You're gonna need some garlic and washed ginger. And it'd be nice for you to have a good blender. It is the best, it works so good. Oh, throw that inside. You don't even need to cut it because your blender is really good. You just pop everything inside of it like that onions pop it in and you can wash your pepper habanero pop it in onions chop it as big as you want it just pop it in i like onion smells in my food so i love to use a lot of onions when i'm doing cooking something easy way out i think to me it's beautiful to have a nice smell food while you are cooking and the old house can say oh that is beautiful blend this together you guys can see i didn't put no water because i don't really want water inside of it pour. Tin tomatoes, pouring it inside of it, and let's blend. Now we're gonna add more red pepper with our blending. We're gonna have everything in one. I don't even care. I just like chopping everything the way I want it. There's no special ways to cut pepper. As long as everything get blended up. The pepper is ready, blend. So this is how I start doing my cooking. I love using olive oil. That is my favorite cooking oil. I love it. Very good for you and it's not good to fry olive oil so some onions chopped inside of it and this is the pepper going inside of it that beautiful nice beautiful color and I like to have a little bit of water inside of it so that everything can be cooked nicely it's so soup smells good and curry powder it doesn't matter what type you use it's beautiful and after that, I'd like to use, this is my nor, Maggie. Crack it, put inside of it. That's two. And I'm gonna add another two to it. Crack it and pour inside of it. I love using dry onions. Because it brings more flavor to your soup when you cook it. 
and I don't really eat a lot of salt, but I put just a little bit inside of it. I just maneuver everything together. This is not like you're cooking for a thousand people, but you know what? Something easy, peasy just to cook in the house and make your family feel good. And it's tasty. And we should taste it right now. Mm, I wish you're here to taste this. Thank you. Okay, so let's check the soup and see where we are. Ooh la la. See how beautiful it is and it's not sticking because I didn't put too much oil inside of it and I used olive oil so it's beautiful it's almost ready nice and smoky I love the color Mm. and the salt is just right okay so we'll leave it for another 15 minutes and we will be back yeah. okay this is my honeycomb and the fish I like to put my honeycomb in the oven because I do not I don't like frying it that's my honeycomb and the fish. I just want to drain some water out of the fish. So this is my best way to drain it and make it dry. So I put it in the oven for a little bit. I don't like frying my fish either because I like to get the, the nutrients from my fish. Just a little steam is good enough for me. Welcome back. This is after 15 minutes. Now let's check it out. Ooh, that is so nice. Now it looks like it's cooked. Now this sauce is nice and cooked. That is beautiful. Now we're gonna add some fish and the honeycomb inside of it. This is how it goes. This has been grilled in the oven. I steamed it a little bit, just like that. Isn't that beautiful? So if you're having a nice party in your home, or just for, your, for you and your family, Let's add one more. See if we have to put some more or not. Okay, it's nice and spacious inside of it. We can put like two more actually. And like that, we add one more. Okay, now we're gonna add the onicorn. It's nice and crisp, crisp, nice and crispy, golden crispy, just the way I like it. So you can add as much as you want inside this. So it can give you nice flavor as you want it okay I think for me that's good enough and then we'll be back hope you like this video please make sure you you like comment and subscribe thank you